What is pen pressure? How does it work? How to use it correctly? These are the questions I'll be answering in this video. Welcome back to the channel. My name is David Belivo. I am the lead instructor at Paintable. On this channel, I'll be teaching beginner artists my best tips and tricks to help them progress faster. If you are a beginner digital artist, I would suggest for you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I'll be uploading new video every week. Before we get started with this video, I want to remind you that the Digital Painting Bootcamp is available for free for a limited time. Uh, if you don't want to miss it, I put a link in the description of this video. Go check it out. Now, let's talk about pen pressure. A few of you have been asking questions about pen pressure. Maybe it's because it's not working properly on your computer right now, or maybe you heard other artists talking about pen pressure and you're wondering, what the hell is that? Well, in this video, I wanna answer all your questions. In a nutshell, pen pressure refers to the pressure sensitivity of your tablet or stylus. For example, this Wacom tablet has a pressure sensitivity of 8192 and this one a pen pressure sensitivity of 2048. Personally, I'm using a 2048, this tablet right here, made by Wacom. It's a Wacom One. It's working perfectly well for both my hobbyist work and my professional work. If you are about to buy a tablet, you don't have to buy the most expensive one. This one is working really fine with 2048 pressure sensitivity. Uh, with that being said, pressure sensitivity refers to not only the tablet, but also can refer to the pressure sensitivity of your brushes on your software. For example, a brush stroke without the pen pressure enable would look like a painting that has been made with a mouse. <laughs> where a brush stroke with pen pressure enable would mimic the subtlety of a brush stroke made by a master painter. Incredible! Did you see that beautiful brush stroke? Beautiful. Therefore, making sure that your pressure sensitivity is enabled on your brushes in your software is super important. So in this video, I'll show you how this works on Photoshop, but rest assured that no matter the software you're using, you'll find similar settings. So let's get started. All right, first thing first is we need to have our brush selected. So I'm gonna select the brush right here. This is the tool right here. And I have a uh, ordinary opaque brush right here just to show you how I'm going to modify this one to have a brush that I can do something with it. And so what I need to do is to go over window and open the brush settings. This is this panel right here. In there, you'll find all the different settings that you can have to create new brushes. We're not gonna go through all of them. I wanna show you the basic one. You can also find the basic one at the top bar right here in Photoshop. This one, I'm gonna over it, and it's gonna show what it says. It says, always use pressure for opacity. So basically, if I click this, you're gonna see that it's adding the transfer right here uh, by toggling this right here. And what it does is now, with the pressure sensitivity of my pen, I am able to basically create uh, some transparency with my brushes. So that's super important. If you wanna be able to paint and basically add layers of paint, you need that feature. So that's feature number one. Feature number two, you have it also at the top right here. It's this one right here. This one will tell you to basically with the pressure sensitivity to have it small brush to big brush. And with those two, you'll be basically able to create all sorts of brushes, but also have the control over your opacity and the size of your brushes based on the pressure that you put on your tablet. So they are super important. Now, pen pressure can also refer to this panel here. This is the settings from the system preferences. And basically, these settings are controlling the pen pressure of my stylus. And as you can see, uh, I have uh, the different buttons on my pen, but also the tip feel right here. And so if I move this from right to left, it's going to take me more or less pressure on my tablet to be able to do strokes. So if you have difficulties right here with your tablet, uh, you feel like you have to press really hard on it, or you press very softly and create all sorts of very thick brushes uh, or brush stroke, this is the setting you want to check. And if you are in Mac, like in my case, or even in PC, I believe, you can also toggle this plus button to actually control the different application that you want to use with. I could add Photoshop, for example, and then have specific uh, settings just for Photoshop. So this is the other place that the pen pressure refers to. Et voilà, now that you have the pressure sensitivity enabled, you're able to make a beautiful brush stroke like Rembrandt or any other master painter. 
And that's it for this video. If you still feel lost in the world of digital painting, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification notific notific notification bell. I'll be uploading new videos every week. If you have any questions that haven't been answered in this video, you can place them in the comment below, or you can join the Paintable community. The great advantage of the Paintable community is that I'm there every day, therefore you can ask me your question directly. Also, don't forget to register to the Digital Painting Bootcamp. It's free for a limited time, so don't wait up. Okay, that's it. Have a good week. I'll see you in the next video. Well, look at that. My shirt is matching the color of the of the wall. How how cool is that?